Hello. Hey. Uh, welcome to Panic Edition of Tabletop Royale. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the plan tonight was to play Destinies. Yeah. However, that was the plan. Things um, always go to plan. So it was not uh, in our destinies. Yeah, you could say that was not in the stars. Yeah. Um, for tonight, it turns out the Steam app was probably just imported, mm -hmm. uh, and that no one has ever looked at it. And it gets very confused if there are four cameras connected. Yes. Yeah, it was not. Um, uh, so uh, the we okay, couldn't five. get we couldn't get the Steam app to work correctly. So we have panicked <laughs> and audibled into between the two castles of Mad Queen uh, Ludwig. So um, the way. <laughs> The way it's going to work, to, just is going to... Okay, I'm uh, panic adjusting the camera. Just is panic adjusting. <laughs> um, it's fine. And uh, I played this game once, like, two and a half years ago. Actually, I think it's it's, it's about three years ago now. Um, so... So, very fresh in our memory. Yes, yeah, so it's very fresh in my memory. <laughs> um, uh, I'm a little too far left, I know. <laughs> I'm working on it. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to give a quick rules overview. The way this is actually a drafting game. So if you've played Seven Wonders, this is actually pretty good. Um, if you're looking for something uh, to spice things up in your play group, uh, instead of Seven Wonders, this is a good alternative. Um, okay. Because yeah. this plays up to seven people, and uh, it is a drafting game. Um, now uh, in Seven Wonders, you are working individually. In um, this game, and uh, what's going to happen is you're actually working with the people beside you. So, um, for this game, um, since there's only three players, all three of us are working together in different ways. Um, and the person who wins is the person whose two castles are worth more. Um, so, uh, that may be a little bit confusing, but once we get into the scoring, it'll make sense, I assure you. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, the way... Uh, in this game, it's actually... We've got a couple trays. Um, when you put this game away, you have actually prepared to play the game the next time. Um, there's some nice trays here. This tray here has got a bunch of communal resources uh, on it. We're putting it out of the way for the camera because um, these castles are going to get built as we go. Um, so this uh, tray has some resources um, that we're moving out of the way. Uh, and then this is the draft tray um, that's got seven positions on it. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Um, that uh, in a seven player game you would pull from and you could actually just put that in the middle of the table because everybody's castles are going to get built out of the way. We've had to make some uh, adjustments just so that it will fit on the, uh, the, the camera. So. Um, yeah, yeah, I, just want, I just want to point out the hustle of everybody involved in because this, <laughs> this game wasn't punched. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this game was not. This game, this game was un was was opened, but like not uh, like uh, ready, not tabletop ready. No, so. I, I had bought it uh, like two months ago. Yeah, and just put it on the shelf because I, I didn't have an opportunity to play it yet. Um, so as we go, there's a there's a. Do you have the card cam ready? I can yeah. actually show the scoring thing. Um, now, uh, in a stroke of brilliance, what I did to save time on learning the rules before we play <laughs> um, is that I decided that I'm going to read to you the bonus thing um, for content. Yeah. And also so that I know what the rules are. The basic, <laughs> the basic gameplay, though, is we get a stack of nine cards, we draft two of them, one to place in each castle, Yes. And then we pass, we place our rooms, and then yeah. we do it again. Right? Yeah, and we're drafting two pieces, um, and once we've picked out which ones we're adding to each castle, we can actually talk. Now, when we're drafting, we can't say anything. But during the planning phase, during like the actual placing phase, we can communicate. Um, and when I, kind when of, I draft my two, do I have to immediately decide which, before communicating, uh, decide which castle they go to? That's a great question, Justin. And we will answer uh, that question. So, <laughs> when we're choosing tiles, we're going to secretly, and without communication, um, choose two of the tiles from your hand, place the remaining tiles face down under the castle token. Um, that's what these tokens are, uh, right there. Um, that's, that's the, basically, I don't know if anybody's ever done... Uh, magic booster drafts and chat, but uh, that's like a good way to so you make don't stack sure boosters on. You don't stack boosters on top of each other, and yeah. you're also like showing that hey, this thing is uh, is ready to go. Um, so uh, face down, the this signals to the players that you have finished choosing your tiles. When you finalize your choice, you may not change it. 
Um, once all players have chosen the tiles, all players simultaneously reveal their chosen tiles. You may now openly discuss strategy with your partners to determine the best location for the chosen tiles. So you don't have to, you can have a castle in mind, but you can always swap around based off of what you, you've picked. So, uh, I know it's been a while since you've played it, but just generally, do you want to do like one and one always? Or do you have to do one and one? Yeah, you, you have to do one and one. Okay, so you, yeah, yeah. there's you no have time to do one you one. can put like two and yeah. say like this castle. You must right. place one to your left and one to the right. Okay. Okay. Um, so, all right. And uh, we do that until we've drafted all the tiles. And then we do that again with a second set of tiles and we reverse direction. And then once all the tiles are out and down, then we we tally up the points. It and seems like super fast. Like that's gonna it, be just. I, so I, and I got like a decision point paralysis, right? What I, are you thinking about it? Uh, there's gonna be a lot of decisions, and uh, the bonus stuff really elevates this game, okay, uh, okay. in my opinion. Um, and, but I was so I had never played this before. I looked at this and was like, "Wow, this seems to be a lot of rules." Um, uh, I sat down with six complete strangers at a board game con, but not and in, not like not bef like before before the things, right? Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, 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 yeah. Twenty eighteen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This was this was uh, twenty. Yeah, this was twenty eighteen. So um, when I when I played this originally, uh, and uh, so me and six strangers blasted through the game, and I want to say it was like an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Okay. Which, for a random board game, for some random people, con, people yeah. having to explain it, it was fast. I was, like, shocked by how fast. And I was like, wow, what a great game. I can't wait to play that again. Mm -hmm. um, and here we are. Yeah. Fast, <laughs> three, fast, only, only three fast, years Fast later. forward to 30 <laughs> minutes, 30-ish minutes ago, where Justin says, <laughs> hey, do you hey, remember how to play Mad King Ludwig? <laughs> I was like, I... Can fake it. So <laughs> sure. All right. Um, so far, so good. Now there are uh, from the 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 card that you see right here. Um, there are different types of rooms that we're going to add to the castle, and this player um, guide does a pretty good job of telling us um, what we need to know about each of these tiles. There's food rooms, living rooms, utility rooms, outdoors, sleeping rooms, corridors, and uh, downstairs. Now you'll notice that there is a direction next to each of these places. And this tells you where it can be placed in the castle. Um, when we're looking at the castle tiles, imagine you standing on the ground, looking at the castle face forward. And then you've got x-ray visions so that you can see into the rooms, okay? Um, that's what's happening. Uh, for the display purposes, this tile right here, um, this is a throne room, all right? Mm. And uh, so this, this, Axis right there is ground level. That's throw room level. Okay, uh, back to the. So if you see this marker, that means it can go on the throne room level or above. All right, and that's all of these fall into that category. Corridors can go anywhere in the castle, and then downstairs have to be beneath the throne room. So they have to be, uh, that's, there's like dungeons and stuff. Um, those have to be underneath the throne room, okay? Um, now, when we place three tiles of the same type, you'll notice here it says bonus for three. We get a bonus depending on what type of room it is, okay? And that's just like the third yellow tile placed yes. in this castle. Yes. You immediately get the bonus? Yes. Okay. Um, and so, uh, like, if... First turn, you draft a yellow, I draft a yellow. Second turn, you draft a yellow, I don't. You place the yellow. The bonus goes into the, the castle. Is it whoever deck. places the third gets to choose the bonus? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I believe. So, yeah, when you place your third food room. Okay. Now, um, so I'm going to give you the bonuses for each of the rooms because I don't know what they are. <laughs> All right. I think I've processed that blue border means you can't build on top of it. Ah. Because if you can't build on top of a fountain and the tower is the tallest point. Ah, okay. Oh. All right. <clears throat> well, when you place your third food room, immediately draw five tiles from the supply of face-down regular room tiles. Those are the ones beneath the throne room over there. Uh, there's some extra ones that aren't in play. Um, if we were playing a seven-player game, all of these would be taken, and then these would are where we draw the food room extras from. So, um, all right. Uh, draw five tiles from the supply at face down regular room tiles. Choose one of those tiles to place in your castle. Discard the four out of the game. 
Um, if the tile you, you choose to place in your castle is the third or fifth tile of a particular type, take the new bonus for that type immediately after you place the tile like normal. I don't know what that means. Let's see. Example, you already have two living rooms in your castle, and with the food room bonus, you choose to place a new living room into your castle. This gives you three living rooms. You yeah. should now immediately take the living room bonus. Okay, so you cool. can use the food room to combo with other rooms. Well, yeah. Logan, the table is blue. How are you supposed to build a castle on it? How do you build on top of it? Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Stormstrong. Storm. Time yourself out. Thank you, Stormstrong. <laughs> I think if he times himself out, he loses mod status. Probably. <laughs> Um, in the case that there are not five available regular room tiles, shuffle the tiles that have been looked at to, to pick from. So, okay. uh, living rooms, when you place your third living room, immediately choose to place a royal attendant into one of the two spots for it into your throne room. Um, at the end of the game, you'll score one point for every room in your castle with the wall hanging shown for that royal attendant. Okay. Um, yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. So, so you have like a gesture um, for all the all the torches or whatever. Yes. You need to put that on the card cam because it's like teeny tiny. Yeah, we got these teeny teeny. This little guy. That little yeah. Guy. There's actually four of these. Four of these small fellers. So is that the only? That's the only time when these icons matter. Uh, oh, then I grab I grab an extra ge a gesture, but there, there's four of these. There's like a painter or something. Um, this guy. So. Yeah, so that's that. They're counting these. That's what the the uh, there's yeah. a there's a marker on the cards, and that that's what these are counting. So very nice. All right. Um, okay. So that's how you get those into your castle. What do they do? They, they, they give you so like the knight gives you one point for every uh, cross swords icon. Oh. Um, so that's that's where we couldn't figure out what that was. That's where they step okay, in. So, I see, I see. Uh, if you choose to put a painter into your throne room, you will score one point for every painting in your castle at the end of the game. Um, oh, that's what the mirror is, huh? I see. Yeah. Uh, all right. So utility <laughs> rooms. When you place your third utility room, immediately draw three bonus cards. The bonus cards are right here. And oh. um, they're, they're off the side. Oh, so, heck. Well, let's, um, let's see what a bonus card looks like. Yeah, sure. Let's show off a bonus card. Are, this, are these personal goals? Uh, choose one of them to keep and set it face up beneath the castle. So okay, it is okay, a bonus is a for goal. the castle. Okay, so, so it is extra it scoring is full for castles. transparency, full cooperation. Correct. I was Correct. thinking. I was just assuming. Yeah, that you have individual goals. Nope. But nope. 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 Our right, well, our, my goal is for you and me to build the best damn right. castle. Yes. Yeah. Hell yeah. And then my goal is also to build the best damn castle there is with Justin. Yeah. Um. And does, then does this mean one point per thing adjacent to the throne room? Yes. Okay. Yep. I'm sure these all have. They all the there is a little there. bit of uh, hieroglyphics in this game, but they all make sense once you understand what you're looking at. So, um, we might yeah, build, we'll the build the red keep. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um, so you discard the other two out of the game, and in the, the game, your castle score points based on it. Blah blah blah. blah. Um, okay. Outdoor rooms. So you place your third outdoor room immediately. Place a fountain. Fountains are a specialty room type that can be placed at the throne level. Of well, throne room level or above, and they just give five points. Mm -hmm. um, that's what fountains do. Uh, <laughs> sleeping rooms. Um, when you place your third sleeping room, immediately place a tower. Towers are a specialty room type. They can be placed at the throne room level or above. They're worth one point for each room below them, including t rooms beneath the throne room level. Whoa. For instance, is the tower in the example to the right scores four points. Uh, this is the example. Bold. That's the example right there. I'm in the okay. rule book now. <laughs> <laughs> we are the rules. So, uh, towers are the same limitation as outdoor rooms. Room tiles cannot be placed above them. Context clues, Logan. Whoa. Excellent. Hey. All right. <laughs> so cool. Uh, corridor rooms. When you place your third corridor room, immediately place a grand foyer. Grand foyer are a specialty room type and can be placed anywhere in the castle, just like corridors. The grand foyer scores one point for each surrounding room. Grand Foyer can score up to a, a maximum of eight points. So, like, this only counts as one room, the, the throne room, right? I'm pointing um, to that. Three surrounding room. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, the throne room only counts as one room for that okay. purpose. Um, downstairs rooms. When you place your third downstairs room, immediately choose any other room type bonus. You may choose a bonus that you already obtained earlier or a bonus you have not yet obtained. If you choose a bonus you have not yet obtained, um, you're still eligible to receive that bonus later. Mm. 
No, you can only get these bonuses once for each room type. Yes, yeah, so it's when you place the third, okay. you get the bonus. Um, oh, you so you could, and you can get some, I guess technically, if you placed five of all of these, you could get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You could theoretically have eight towers, for example. Uh, well, not eight towers, right? Because um, you, you don't get a tower for every single room type. Right. Only if you put the corridor rooms, right? But you, or the sleeping so rooms. you build three sleeping rooms, get one tower. And you build five food rooms. I mean, that's probably not feasible. Yeah, but yeah. you could choose the tower every single time for your additional bonus of five tiles, right? It doesn't, there's no limit. To oh, uh, so when you place a fifth, you get to. Sorry, I might have been skipping you're ahead. You're skipping ahead. I'm yeah, sorry. I think you're skipping ahead. Ah! Choose any one specialty room tile. I thought that's what you were just explaining, though, was that you could choose any of them. No, the 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 downstairs room lets you choose any of any the other, other bonus. oh, room okay. bonuses. So you could choose to draw three bonus cards, or you could choose to draw five tiles and pick one. But if you place the fifth of any room... Then you get to... You, you get, get to, to choose any specialty room. Those, so you get okay. to choose a Grand Foyer Tower or okay. Fountain. Cool. So no, you do not get to place no, eight yeah. towers. No way. No. <laughs> yeah. So uh, two that's too many all the throne rooms have special bonuses on them. They they so this throne room wants sleeping rooms and living rooms. This throne room wants um, food rooms. Show that because like you can see there's a tile icon on the bottom yeah. of this thing. It, it may also, not show up. It great, also wants but... paintings. If you see like the yeah, so the, it starts with painting. The royal attendant that wants paintings. Yeah. All right. Um, after round two is over, the game will score, and so uh, we'll just do scoring when we get there. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, all right, you ready? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, there's a score pad. Nice. Yes, we've got a we got a nice score pad right here. I'll move that off to the side. Um, okay, but uh, yeah. Uh, other than that, let's let's get to it. Okay. At least today, we enough have, talk. We have specifically stated that we do not know how to play this game. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Well, I mean, I've got a vague recollection. All right, so. Um, just grab one stack. Any, um, any of the stacks? Well, yeah, I mean, you could choose like the first player. Or something like that. I mean, we could, but we won't. You can't make us. Okay. All right. So now we've each got a stack, and um, uh, we're going to take a look at the pile. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're going to pick two, uh, and then we're going to pass. Um, we start by passing to the left. Um, and each room has, like, special stuff underneath it that they want. Like... And it tells you like things. how yeah, it tell you like how it's connected and whatnot. Okay. All right. Um so <laughs> what the heck? What the heck? Um yeah. I try. I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go pick some rooms because yeah. I went, well, okay. I'm, I wish my brother were playing this game because he would love this room. What is our? What is ours? Z's like? Z's and uh, cups. And it's got a. It's gotta be there and there. But what is? Is that the painting guy? Uh yeah. Okay. Or it's like mirror. There's. It's weird. There's mirror and there's painting, right? What is the? Yeah. So there's one. There's four. Attendance. Each one of those corresponds to one of those icons. Uh, so there's swords, there's mirror, there's painting, and then there's torch. Oh, so we um, are vain people. Yes. Well, you two are. Yeah. I've yeah, al I've always said that about you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you're right. <laughs> uh, all right. So get those. That goes there. Easy. It's not time for the hole yet. I'm so sorry. No, that's right. Yeah, there's, there's a lot to there's a lot to to pick up. We'll have to show off some of the. I just uh, kind of went for it. I don't really know what I was doing. So. Yeah, we'll, have to, <laughs> we'll we'll show off some of the rooms just to show what's going on on them. Uh, yeah, we'll do this. <clears throat> this might be bad. Who knows? Uh, you bet. Did you already put that right there? Yeah, there you go. All right. Okay. Um. So, uh, we flip over our rooms at the same time. Now that we've got them. Um, and I'll just show, uh, show off a room real quick. This is the kittenry. The Aww. kittenry? Um, yeah, there's a bunch of kittens in here. Whoa. Cat, cute cats. All right, there's a bunch of cats in here. All right, and this gets one star per connected throne room. Oh, actually, this is per connected corridor. 
Sorry, that's a corridor room. Um, so yes, I get to distribute cats uh, around the castle. Uh, I'm gonna. I was gonna put this one in there since we need um, sleeping rooms. Yeah, and... I've got great great news about this chicken coop. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, and then I've got this here pillow room. Uh, we just kind of throw pillows in there. Uh, unfortunately, the pillow room <laughs> is not in God, the cat room. What not in the cat castle because Ugh. there would just be a cat asleep on every oh, pillow. I got this guest bedroom. What I wouldn't give to have enough space in my house to have a room dedicated to just have pillows in it. <laughs> so, uh, trying to fix the focus. Oh, so, there we go. Uh, almost. 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 That's very blurry. <laughs> almost. I had it for a second. All, almost. Oh. Oh. Ooh, hey. Boom. Boom. All right. We've done it. Okay, so we can't move that camera. Don't ever touch it. Do not again. touch this camera. <laughs> there we go. All right, yeah, guest bedroom. It's a sleepy room. It's four points if you have one of all the room types. Is that what that's saying? Yeah, uh, yes. Slash slash one. So if you don't get all the room types, I imagine it's only worth one. one. I see. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was going <laughs> to add one of those you to that sleepy room. Yeah, that's fine. We can just make sure to diversify. Well, can't it says per. Can't we just put both on top there? Yeah. Like that? Yep. I mean, actually, you could put yours there. So, if we put three sleeping rooms, we could just build a tower. So, I could also put yeah. mine there. Okay. Um, so, and it's the same kind of scoring, looks like. The same exact yes. iconography. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, so, we can, we can place ours like that right. if you want. Mm -hmm. if, you, if we want to try to build like a tower. Because yeah, we can sure. also build dungeons down. Um, yeah. Uh, I got so, a, a cuppy room. I got a, a ZZ's room. Okay, let's do that. So yeah. Um, so I can place this right here, uh, and then the chicken coop has to go outside. Um, it doesn't have to be connected to this. You could put the chicken coop on this side. I was just thinking, like, we're going to cut ourselves off whenever we play. No, there. you can keep, we can keep building outdoor rooms this way. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, All right, just cool. keep going this way. Sounds good. Um, so, because this, this wants is... to be connected to corridors. Uh, I got you. Okay. Yep, that makes sense. Well, we'll probably end up having to move all this around. I'm sure we'll we be go. shuffling it a bit, but that's fine. Um, okay, that's that. Okay. That's, and then... Next. Maybe. Next. Next. So how do you tell something is that likes that? Oh, it has to be a weird minus sign. Is that yeah. The oh, it's the corridors. It's the gray. Uh, the gray. It's this this symbol. Got it. Um. So. Uh, Well, What's, I, uh, okay, corridors. I'm taking a strong turn into haunted mansions. <laughs> yeah. I need some. I need some. Is this dang like, old corridors. Do, do the people who have already chosen need to vamp? Is that? Is it, I don't know if it's great TV. Need what? Vamp. What does that mean? Like talk. Oh. The audience, sure. Yeah, well, I've never heard that term before. <laughs> if you want to vamp, you vamp. All right, all right. Um, so I've got the salon and the grand balcony. You want to show the rooms? Yeah, place them. Um, so I have I didn't, a, I didn't, we didn't show our chicken coop salon, and then a grand balcony. Um, I was gonna throw the grand balcony here. Yeah, um, just continue outside. Because also, if we get a third one, we get to build a mountain. Is what I was thinking. So that's nice. why I went with this. Yeah, yeah. Um, my salon gets one for each adjacent um, sleeping room. So we can put that right there. This takes care of that yeah. for us. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then this will get points. There. I've got the hole. The hole. <laughs> Throw them in the <laughs> hole. Which is one per sleeping room. I guess above it. Yes. Now it does count all the way. All okay. All the way like, <laughs> through this, up the. This hole goes all the way. So we're putting that yep. hole right there. Yeah. So um, these are above that. So Great. they will count for the hole. Okay. What is the lore there? 
the, the hole. hole. Like they just want. There's to a claw. There's a there's a, a skeleton claw hand. Yeah, it's like, trying yes, to get out yes, of the hole. Yes, go to sleep. And then I've got, <laughs> so, this, re- so I I've got this repair you. shop, Logan. So I'm just gonna put that above this thing because that gets two per thing above it and below it. Oh yeah. This has one per connected anvil. Nice. So if I, you want to place more anvils. I've uh, I've got a dungeon here. Dungeon for our castle. Okay. Cool. Uh, it's got the circle on it, which I guess is mirror. One per connected in. corridor above or below. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's got to be in the basement. Yeah. So this counts as a corridor, right? Or is it? I don't think no. so. Oh dang. Where do you want? Here. Mm, I guess to the the, the further right? here, because this one wants to have uh, anvils. I don't think utility can go down there. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The utility can only go up. So did I mess it's up? Throw them there. Far above. You can put corridors there because this is above right. cor- any corridor any all the way above. And corridors oh, can go down. Gotcha. So yeah, that that is a fine placement. Okay, it's not worth any points right now, but it's a fine placement. Yeah. And then I got this hall of creaking floors to go with our corridor place. All right, you guys. <laughs> the floors. So we'll put it. We'll put it right next to the cats. So that way the cats are walking around <laughs> all <laughs> times about <laughs> creak, making the floors creak, scaring the bejesus out of everybody in the house. <laughs> okay. All right. Next. So, yep. Take the tiles. Or it can go anywhere, okay. So is, does it have to continue outside over here, or can you do it? Right so you could you can place a non outside tile here. Yeah. Um, and then we can like build off of it. Oh, okay. And we have like a like a little I don't know, um, whatever the interior pool is. house. Yeah. <laughs> um. So. Uh. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, I am vamping. It's me. <laughs> the vamper. Oh god, you're a vamper? I, uh, I don't want to agree to that before I know more about the term. No origins. Oh, I was just, it sounds like vampire? Oh no, no, I'm not a vampire. I'm a vampire. Okay. It's very you. different. Yeah, that's how people said it in um, True Blood. The vampire. The Vampers. Uh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Shuke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a vampire. It's me. It's me, a vampire. A vampire. <laughs> okay, we're I'm, we're just I'm just leaning in. Uh, this is gonna be great. Mm. Okay, well, that <laughs> and everyone knows vampires are known for entertaining people. Yeah, that is true though. I mean, yes. like I could just mesmerize y'all. Yeah. All right. Flip the tiles up. I've got the tool room and the scythe room. The scythe room is where we go to play scythe, uh, since it's also a stone mining game. room dedicated to scythe. Um, this gets us uh, one per connected dungeon room. Uh, so I'm going to place this right here. Okay, so we could place the dungeon room like there. Yes. To connect. Um, to get, uh, yeah. I have this uh, crepery. The crepery. The crepery. The crepery. <laughs> it's got two per connected diseases, so we can put it like there. Uh, you uh, yes, you pronouncing correct. that word creepery does not make me think less that you're a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so we need we need a corridor, and we need an outdoor, and then we've got this. Okay, we yep. got this set up. All right, um, I've got the tool room. That's where we go to listen to Tool, <laughs> and that's and, it. And uh, this is worth one point for every connected um, utility room. So I'm going to put that there. So we got two things that are. Wanting to be utility room connected, yes. right? Yeah. And then you got this thing. Yep, that's a that's a the taxidermy show room. I, I yeah, feel we like got a taxidermy zebra there. So our pool house, I think, should be where that is, because otherwise the cats are gonna. I mean, this this, this is sort of, this area is spoken for. So you're trying to like dump basements down there. Okay. Pool house needs to have basements. Okay, okay, we keep our taxidermy outside the main yeah. castle mm-hmm. and I our side do. castle. <clears throat> yeah, and this is the crypt. The crypt. <laughs> Two just per put, downstairs above and below. Okay, so put like, that underneath the dungeon. Right, just right under the dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> All 
right. <laughs> Throw them in the hole. <laughs> I have a purgatory here. <laughs> you keep adding, you keep adding dungeons and holes and crypts to our. So the purgatory is going to go right here. Did you say the purgatory? Purgatory. Yep. No, the per the purge, the purgatory. purgatory. So that's where you go to throw up, though, right? Yeah, yes, that's where you go to purge. I was I always thought that was the vomitorium. <laughs> yeah, but all right, the all purgatory. Right. All right, now, man. Um, so is purgatory just full of vomit? Yeah, it could very well be. Definitely. Yeah, I feel like that's more like on the lines of hell, not like neutral. All uh, right, I am. I'm going to drop that now. Our last, fi our final tiles, since we'll have an odd tile here. Uh, the final tiles just get discarded. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like that's yes. Sure. Whoa. And that just those are discarded. Yeah. All right. Flip them up. I got a sauna and a fish pond. I got a bakery and a study. The gunpowder room and the buttery. The buttery. I'll see me in the first. I got the buttery here. This is a two per adjacent, or I guess above and below corridors. So I figured I would just like throw this out in the mills. You, you, yeah, you have to. You have to build it on top of something. Yeah, yeah, it has to build so it. Don't need corridors to, to match. So I guess right here. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine for now. Um, yeah. Uh, I've got the fish pond, um, which I was going to add there you two go. per cup. Yep, uh, one per cup. One per cup. Um, so I'm gonna add the fish pond here, so that way it'll lock up these rooms here. Okay. So that way we've got all of the different types of we got the stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I have the sauna, one per connected. Um, which I'm gonna add here. No, 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 Nathan, no. Oh, you got... No, no, the bakery's gonna go right there. Bakery's gonna go there? Oh, okay. Well, so you can actually put your thing first if you want. The, the bakery gets stuff for the for anvils, so it being right here gives us two victory points right away. Okay. Um, so I can place this here, and this will give us the three orange rooms, Ooh. which will let us draw a utility card. Okay. Um, and... Do we um, get to discuss, or do you have to choose it on your own? Uh, let me see. Good. Great question. <laughs> when you place your third utility room, immediately draw three, choose one of them to keep, so face up, discard the other two. Yeah, so um, I assume it was me since I placed the tile. Sure. That's our judgment. Our very, uh, we've got four case. per royal attendant. We're not even close to having a royal attendant over there. How do we get royal um, attendants? We need oh, three, three living, living rooms. rooms. Okay. Yeah. Um, this is two per living room, mm, which we don't so have. No. Um, two per question mark? What does this hieroglyphic mean? I don't know. That's a great question. One per... Okay, it sounds like the number of rooms <laughs> that are completely surrounded. This castle is with the dun giant dungeons in New York? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Devil in White City. That, we're, we're making yeah, the Devil in yeah, White City exactly. house over here. Uh, don't, go, don't go there. <laughs> bonus cards. Uh, two points per room whose spaces above, below, to the left, and to the right are all occupied. This could include the throne room. Um, so this one, oh, this, okay. this would want us to start like building Fully. on stuff, as opposed to going Just completely <laughs> horizontal. Look, we have a lot of acres of land. <laughs> we got to do something with them. Um, I mean, I none guess, of those are great, but that's. I guess I'll go with this one, sure, uh, because we can seal that one up and yeah. stuff like that. So yeah. Yep. Uh, all right, there you go. All right, so this one, I have this gunpowder room. It is uh, one per uh, corridor above and below. So I figure I'm just gonna be able to dig deeper down this crypt. Okay. There's <laughs> at least one point right now. We gotta have a tower over here. Yeah. Like... <laughs> and then you got the study, which yeah. is one per shield around yeah. it. Yep. Yeah, I was just gonna put it there right here because we didn't have very many other. That's options the only there. shield yeah. we got. Okay. That's fine. Shields are the special tiles, I think. That's the only times there are shields. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah. Because you don't get a bonus for playing three shields. The, Look, the yeah. shields are To get to the gunpowder, you just have to go through the dungeon, <laughs> through the crypt, and you're there. So we, we have to. We can, in case of a zombie apocalypse, we've put the guns so, on the other side of the prisoners and the dead people. So, yeah, so we what get bonus, any bonus. What dungeon bonus do we want? Yeah. You, get any, of, yeah, so you get any of the bonuses for that one. 
I don't know. I mean, we could make a tower because it's immediately worth five. We could points. get a, a dude, right? Because we have one, two, three, four of these types of tiles. That's four points for a dude. Oh, yeah. That sounds great. For the, the circle yeah. guy. Circle guy. That's yeah. Cool. I've definitely been trying to pick based on the circles, so that's I think that's good. How do we get more dudes? The no, we rooms. have to do living rooms, yeah. All we right, have one, one living room. room. Yeah. All right, so new, new stacks. New stacks. This is our last stack? Yeah. Here's yours, Nathan. We're passing. That's right. right, okay. Yeah, with the wall hanging shown for that royal attendant. Cool. All right, so we're passing the other way now. <laughs> All right, now I know everything about the game. So this tiles make sense. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, I guess the, the initial, like, seeing nine tiles is probably the, the most time-consuming part of the yes. game. Yes, yeah. yes. Because once you have an idea of, like, what you want to do... So good. Just, oh, boy. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Now I am here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, what the f? What is this? But in the f. Hey, what? How does that even take place? Hmm? I, I just need to ask for point of clarification. But like, it says per outside room. But aren't outside rooms all like you can't build on top of them? So how does this even happen? It's just per in existence, right? You can build the chicken coop on top of. Something else, you just can't put mm -hmm. anything else on top of the chicken coop? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is the grand, like, the grand balcony could be, like, right there. Got it. We have the grand balcony overlooking the chicken coop. <laughs> Behold. <laughs> our vast empire of chickens. Behold our chickens. I mean, this, uh, this is dope. This is whips. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man, I love dungeons. It's pretty. <laughs> pretty love a dungeon. Love a dungeon. All right. All right. So you, you definitely do have to take four flights of stairs to load your gun. <laughs> but but look, and uh, it also is like below the dungeon. Uh, the so I, dungeon. for ours, I got the dressing room, which is just another room I figured we could throw it here. Yep. Uh, where are you planning on building on this? Because this is the, now our third room tile, so we would get a tower, right? Yeah, and we probably want to put the tower right there. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's over there. Yeah, this is just this is flat, flat to <laughs> Boom. Yep. Incredible. Um, I have a the map room. Uh, which I will put right there. One per zzz adjacent. Yeah. Okay. Oh, nice. So you got two already. Yeah, and that gets okay. us another one of those. Um, I've got the Hall of Portraits. This is where. Hall of Portraits. Um, one per. This... Yeah, one per um, adjacent okay. mirror. So I'm gonna put that there, so that way this kitten room, um. Is now qualifying for this, and then we also get the bonus point for that, and that bonus point. You gotta, be, you gotta be kidding me with all these mirrors. <laughs> well, it's not mirrors, right? It's a, those are that's for paintings. Oh yeah, sorry, paintings. Yeah. Uh, so we got a padded room <laughs> that we're putting underneath our <laughs> taxidermy place, obviously. <laughs> One for flamey thing above it. Yep. It's a derby show. Wait, how how did we build this down here? That's a corridor. Corridors right can go. Uh, they can go anywhere. anywhere. Yep. Yeah, okay. What's, uh, what you got here? That's a what is that snake pit? <laughs> <laughs> One per flamey thing above it. No. So I'll put it right next to the dungeon. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then I have the spy room. We're digging deeper. <laughs> if you go below. <laughs> You guys have built. It's mostly dungeon. You've built a fallout shelter. Yeah, and also we have five dungeon tiles now, so we've proxed the. Uh, we get one of these things, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. You, you, you're you're uh, this this castle is just the survivalist compound. <laughs> All right. Oh, you can have a bunch of towers actually because they're a shield. 
But you could have eight towers if you really went for it. Do we want a tower? But like there, like what seemingly is not a lot, but it's it's very. We can still dig down deeper. Yeah. <laughs> Why wouldn't we? Yeah. Do, so do, do I think we want towers to the most points for us right tower now? Tower six, right? Four, five, six, and whereas fountain's only five, and that's not going to help us too much. What does the foyer do? It's, it's one, one for, for every connected tile. Yeah. We could put it here and get three, but yeah. Tower yeah. it is. Yep. If you climb up out of the hole, you reach <laughs> the top of the building. Yeah. <laughs> he did it. <laughs> All right. So. Okay. Next. All right. Oh boy. <laughs> hmm. We get this bonus that we need. We need a green here. Green? And a purple. Oh, uh, uh, wait, we can't, we can't. We can't discuss this. Can't yeah, discuss stop, this. stop. I was just trying to figure you're out. You're in direct violation. <laughs> <laughs> you're breaking the law. I mean, let me draft these for the lulls. is okay yeah that's okay that's okay i put it here right nope 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 i put it here you own a mountain i hey lord farquaad i am into some weird rooms don't but don't yuck my yum <laughs> i like snake pits i like dungeons i like I mean, like, I didn't it's... install a room that I just called the hole in my castle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Um, I have the reading room. It's got a nice chair. And uh, I'm actually going to put the reading room right here. Okay. Um, that gives us three living rooms, which okay. will let us get a royal attendant. So Word. Uh, what do we need for this one? Uh, I'm placing a torch. Um, so we have four torches. Five torches, so torch. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm, I got this here broom closet. It's one per adjacent. Z, so I'll just place it here. Okay. Okay. Uh, I have the glass making room. Nice. Uh, glass blowing room. I am going to put this here. All right. Um, there's one per connected utility room. Oh, nice. So it puts us to four utility rooms in this. One away. Uh, I've got a sitting room for us. Uh, you could show that. OK. Um, oh, it's lovely. It's nice. <laughs> that is nice. Yeah. Uh, a luxurious sitting room. Uh, and if we put it here, then it's prox that and that. So OK. Sounds good. Is that uh, three? Four no, three? that's only it's two. Uh, two. Okay. two uh, Plain bees. Living rooms. Living rooms. Uh, I've got this guard house. Okay. Which uh, it likes the basement. One per basement. Great. <laughs> Where are we putting that? Um, it literally doesn't matter at all. Let's put it there. You could put it right there if you wanted. It's up to you. I was thinking one, it's one per. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. We, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's one connected. Per shields. Yeah. Per so I don't, don't necessarily want to cut off that, it's but true. I don't think we're going to really. That, that might not matter. Right. And then I'm going to put this hall of mirrors down. Just down below the spy room. <laughs> There's a lot of broken <laughs> mirrors in that hall. <laughs> you load it up. Because it was a mirror, it's one for this, and it's one more for the tower. So. Yep. Just dig deeper. Yep. <laughs> We're going to get to the ball rock eventually. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> Do 
Is connected only orthogonally or? I believe connected only means orthogonally. Okay. Yeah, Skin's great. What's up? Your turn, my turn. How's it going? Hello. Hello. Um, I'm trying to. I really like Castles of Mad King Ludwig. I think I like this more even after we haven't finished the game yet, but. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's it your feels, brain. It has the same you, energy, but I'm yeah. work, working with two people full of co-op. Yeah, your 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 brain is like so engaged mm -hmm. the whole time you're playing. Yeah, like you're looking at tile and you're like, where are the possibilities? <laughs> so, oh, bad. oh, oh, yeah. oh! This is between two castles of Mad King Ludwig. Yes, this one. Okay. All right, I got for this one. I got the. Shield room, so one per connected basement. It, it is our third utility okay. here, so I was going to slap it down here in case we have a basement to connect to it. Yep. These are basically the same, so we get to pick a bonus. Uh, two per garden, we only have one. One per thing around there, that's a lot. Mm, yeah. A lot. One per total width. Oh. oh. <laughs> Look at the girth. <laughs> so we'll take that guy. <sighs> <laughs> All right. Um, I have got a hibernation chamber that I'm adding to here. This gives a hibernation us, chamber. Yep. Um, this gives us one. Uh, this is just an extra one of the sleeping rooms. Um, but uh, I'll put it right there so that way we get the points for both of those for that being connected. Very nice. Yes. Um, uh, yeah. There you go. I got this uh, torch storage for all of our torches. <laughs> <laughs> for all of our torch needs. <laughs> I'm going to put it right next to our taxidermy storage. Uh, wait, I think we... Um, I think you want it... Well, it's for... It's... I think you want it, like, over here, right? Well, it's one for that, sure, but this one gets... Oh, that, this can't go down below. Oh. The, um... So the the thing is, we we need to try to like seal some of this stuff. Well, this oh, does okay. seal. Okay. okay, yeah, I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you. Um, that puts us to five. Yeah. So we get to have a shield. Um. Fountain is just straight up five points. Yeah. Grand, and it gets us oh, another... the the grand foyer. We can actually put. Um, Oh, and we can actually make another one. Well, anywhere, right? Is it? Yeah. Is it? <clears throat> no, it's a shield, so it has to be upstairs, right? It can't be. I mean, it could be on the ground floor, but it ha it can't go down beneath. Yeah. yeah. Um, we yeah. could like. I mean, if we're here, then we can get some dungeon stuff going on. To yeah, I don't think these. there's a lot of you. You've put a lot of dungeons in that. I don't actually know if there's enough dungeons left over. Mm, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm uh I'm robbing myself to pay myself in this <laughs> case. You've learned nothing from <laughs> Iberian Gage. <laughs> uh, all right, so it's like a it has the same uh, like it, same itch as Iberian Gage, right? Where it's like sword co-op and competitive, but without one person actually just trashing everyone else, right? Yeah, yeah, completely yeah. trashing. And also, like, well, I I guess it's similarly opaque in in terms of like I have no idea what our scores are. Yeah, right yeah, now, but I it's know, much I, harder to know the scores. I think this castle's doing Iberian fine. Gage. I. I don't think we're doing great in this castle. <laughs> I'm having fun. Yeah. <laughs> so I think our castle is really great. Don't let the castle hang out. <laughs> don't talk that way in front of the castle. Now, if you got that with uh, card, that would yeah, that would have been incredible. Um. So I think we just take the fountain. Then we put the fountain right there because I'm going to put this right there. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so we're like pretty close to that. I mean, we're yeah. pretty close over here as well to a lot of things. But if we have we, one dungeon tower, yeah, we need dungeons or, or corridors. Or corridors. Yeah. 
So sure. All right. Um, and then I've got the reception room, uh, complete with a cat. This is the castle that is the kit, kit that's got the kittenry in it. Um, meow. <laughs> All right, this is going in here. This gives us our third living room, so that's going to get us a um, royal. Oh, one more guys. Uh, I think torches is what we want, right? Three, four, five, five torches. We got two swords, two. three mirrors. Yeah, it's torches. Yeah. Uh, all right. Get in there, Jester. Okay. All right, I got this here French gaze bow. <laughs> One for a shield. I was gonna toss it over here. Nice. Uh, dig deeper. Yes, good. <laughs> <laughs> so one for adjacent mirror. That's, that's excellent because this is a mirror, and this also gets bonus for mirrors. Woo. And woo. oh baby, this hole is <laughs> the best. We're, we're, you get down. You have to go through the hall of mirrors to get to the hall of sculptures. <laughs> have y'all? Have you played belonging? No. No. It, it, that's the long is the uh, the little man there's so there's like a soot critter that it, it's basically a metroidvania but in extremely slow motion you, you wake up and the the king's like hey wake me up in 999 days please uh cool i'm gonna take a nap and then a, a 999 day timer starts on the top of your screen and that is literally how long you have to wait uh and you have to like wander around and yeah say, okay and also he he moves like this <laughs> and it's like if you try to press buttons while he's running he's like I'm not in a hurry <laughs> I got 999 days anyway that game's great but that's we're, we're building this game <laughs> alright so picking this stuff up don't mind if I do It hurts to not choose the dungeon for the dungeon, dungeon house. <laughs> dungeon house! <laughs> yeah, right. discard that. Oh, yeah, they're gone. Oh, this is, shoot, this is the last one, huh? Okay. Last one. Yep. Oh, no. All right. All right, here, I got this here, Queen's Chambers, kind of generic sleepy room, so I don't know where you want to put that. I don't know if it's, where's the best place for um, it. Um, well, that gets that. Yeah, I don't think it matters where that goes. No. But that gets us to five of those. Oh, Ooh. it sure does. You get to play So, um, I think that's do these, probably Do these guys count as shields? Like they're no, in the same no, they just count the. Yeah, okay. it's probably a tower right there, right? Or a garden is five, right? The tower is only four, right? Right. So it's fountain. Oh, yeah, sorry, fountain. It's fountain down there. But do, uh, can you put a grand foyer right there and get more than five? Isn't that six? You're right. It's better. Thank you. Good looking out. <laughs> Wonderful job. Okay, it was one per adjacent. Yeah, so I can actually tack onto that. Thing. Yeah. This one looks like the most like an actual castle. Yeah, it's it's so boring. <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> let's put that there. I got that in case you were oh, okay. doing the getting another orange room. That way we'd get to five, but. Um, it's not great. We got one of the five, so that's fine. Yeah. Um, okay. And then the Hall of Paintings, I'm going to put right here. Oh, um, uh, 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 oh you got... I got the subterranean tunnel that's going to like go off on. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, uh, if we yeah, can... I can. I mean, I can. No, I can put that there. And then you can just put the subterranean put it underneath and tunnel get underneath it. Yeah. Well, couldn't we get two of our two points? Uh, well, this you, this you... one's adjacent <clears throat> these. Oh, I see. Oh, the uh, this would things. count towards that. As oh, well. okay. So yeah, that's dope. Okay. So I think yeah. that's all fine. Yeah. So uh, with that's three corridors, so we get to add a grand foyer. Nice. Uh, does that change where I want to play that? Probably not. Um, 
here, right? Yeah, I think so. All right. Yeah. Okay. And I've got a flower garden for us. I guess armory. Guess where that's going? <laughs> <laughs> Dig deeper. Uh, <laughs> we have a flower garden. Where do you think we put the bodies? Flower garden. It looks like House on Haunted Hill, doesn't it? <laughs> With yeah, not, giant not quite. Uh, flower garden can go. It's it's generic. Like it just you get a fountain for that, right? Yeah. Okay, actually, we want to place it here then. What? What? Because then we put the fountain here. Oh, okay. Oh, because it's an adjacent yeah. shield. Got it. <clears throat> Boom. The fountain's just five points. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. I see. I mean, five points is a lot for That's this a lot of points. For yeah. Uh Okay. Scoring. Scoring. Um, if only we would have gotten the girth. Yeah. Bonus. Yeah. Oh, I'm telling right. you, this castle is the most money castle has ever been built. It's so good. <laughs> All right, each player takes a score sheet and calculates the score of the castle to their left. Okay. Mm. okay. So um, that will... There you go. Do we not want to just call this out? There you go. Yeah, probably. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll score each castle out loud. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, your personal final score is the lower of the two scores of your castle. The lower? Oh, no. Yeah. Um, what? The player with the highest score wins. I didn't know this is how it's gonna be. Mm -hmm. Um so you can't that, you can't torpedo. Yeah, you can't torpedo one. You can't times. torpedo and then make an insane castle. castle name. So generic Castle name? I didn't know we were supposed to name our castles. Castle. Generic um, <laughs> generic castle. <laughs> Uh, All right, so food uh, scoring. I feel like that's the name of this castle. Nobody, nobody suspects a thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> which one you're scoring? This one. I'm scoring this one. All right, so this is uh, per corridor to the uh, north or south of it. None. None. Zero. Okay. And then this one is sleeping rooms above and below. That is two. Two. So four. Four total. Four total. Uh, and then these are individual room scores. So right. you're going to put... So that's yeah. four. And then yeah. that's all the food rooms we got, right? Yep. So four. Yep. And the living rooms. Um, so we got one per adjacent anything. Oh, that's not a living room. This is a living room. One per yes. adjacent Zs. One, two, three, four. Yep. And then one per adjacent Zs. One, two, three. And then one per two per adjacent outside. Two. Yep. Okay. Utility rooms. There. Nope. Nothing. Uh, let's see. Hang on. Each. Uh... Okay. So something is considered connected if you can trace a path back to the utility room using only that room type. So. Um. This is per connected utility room. So this is considered connected Whoa. because it connects like that. Oh, oh my goodness. Um, so we did not know that. Yeah. Wow. It's, so it's because it's like one giant room. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, so, but, so the glass making room and the tool room are the same room. Food room wants directly <laughs> above and below. Um, living rooms want. And uh, around it, utility rooms have to be connected. Outdoor just give you the bonuses based on it. Sleeping rooms are if you have all the regular room types in a place. Um, we did put a corridor there, didn't we? We didn't. Oh no! We 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 bought. <laughs> How do we not add a corridor? <laughs> Oh no! And am I embarrassed? I thought, I thought you said we're good now, and then God. I it again. <laughs> Didn't get that? Dang! I thought we were. Oops! Have sabotaged. Anyway, so utility rooms. So that's nothing. This one is per connected. These, so is that two points? Because those are connected. Where at? Right here. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is connected to it, and then this is connected to it because this is adjacent to this to there. So. So two. Yep. This is per connected basement. None. No. Yeah. If we if we could have gotten some basements right there, if if all the basements didn't end up in one castle, um, we could have had some <laughs> outdoor. Uh, one per 
food room, so two. we have two, so yeah. Sleeping? Um, One, two, three, four points, five points. Was that this? Yeah, so. Seven rooms? Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, so. One point for all five of them? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, Wait, we have one that. total point? <laughs> Oh, no. no, no, it's oh, this it's is one, this okay. is one, this is one, this is yeah. one, this is one, this is one. Corridors, Oof. none. No corridors, yeah. Downstairs, yep. one per sleeping above, above it's it. a three. three. Towers, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Fountains, none. Uh, none. This is actually the worst castle. <laughs> uh, grand foyers, uh, at eight. Uh, sorry, it's a seven pointer. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. Most cards, one per one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Royal tenants, um, that's for torches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And throne room. Um, four, because it is six. Okay. All right, whatever that, whatever that is. <laughs> All right, Logan. If you would uh, like to count up the yeah, yeah. count uh, or the castle dungeon, castle dungeon, dungeon castle, castle dungeon, dungeon castle is <laughs> Dun dungeons and dungeons. Dungeons. And dun <laughs> castle dungeons and dungeons. Yeah, All right, that's what we that's what we wound up on. Castle All right. And <clears throat> okay. So food. One food room worth two points. All right. Living. One living room worth two it's points. Two points, yeah. A utility. One utility room worth zero points. Oh. Oh, yeah, because it's the only one. Yeah. Outdoor. One per basement. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two per shield. Uh, so one, two. And throne room, three. So six, six points. Well, now I'm just gonna three and three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, those are all the outdoor sleeping. We have one sleeping room. I Did believe we, we have all, all room types, right? You better count. Orange, yellow, um, basement, purple, corridor, That's outdoor. Six. Yep. That's six. So four points. We did. I can't believe we bungled that so bad. That's pretty, we, we, pretty we, effing we, bad, dude. We pretty effing bad. <laughs> <laughs> I could have really fixed bad. that on the last turn. <laughs> really bad. I could have fixed that on the last turn, uh, too. Instead corridor. of putting the Either one of us I, I could have. <laughs> if only you would have known. Yeah. Corridor. I thought we were good. Corridors. Uh, this one is one per adjacent torch. Uh, no torches. So <laughs> no zero. torches? What? This one is one per adjacent mirror, so one. All right. This one's one per adjacent mirror, so one. Mm -hmm. That's it. All right. Downstairs. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Stick bit, one per thing, so that's one. Okay. One per corridor, above or below, so one, two, three. Okay. One per basement, above or below, one, two, three, four. Yep. One per corridor, above or below, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. One per basement, above or below, one, two, uh, one, two, three, four. Yep. Should be the, yeah, it should be the same. And then armory is one per shield. One. <laughs> uh, throne room is one. I'm sorry, two per shield. Armory is two. Oh, so and throne room four. So four points. So four points. Yeah, I've got written a four here. Yeah, <laughs> this is a banger of a tile. <laughs> That's really good. Uh, okay, so now towers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Damn. That's yeah. a good tower. Uh, fountains. I don't think either of us are scoring this, this castle. I know I'm not. No. <laughs> five points. <laughs> Grand foyer. Uh, we don't have any of those, do we? I don't believe so. Did you do the study already? Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. No, no, you have no foyers. We got two for that one, yeah. Uh, we have no bonus card. Uh, royal attendance. Let's go one per name? circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Oh, my Great geez. job, royal attendant. And then throne room gives us four. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, what are we naming this place, Logan? Uh, long. Wide. 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 Bill. People. <laughs> people wide happy. <laughs> people wide happy. Yeah, it's a twitchy moot. 
Okay. Sure All right. Someone will type it. I think yeah. I, uh, I, might I, I think it, I think it's I think ours is screwed up. I don't mm. think it's the it's not the, the it correct version. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just the it's just the really wide frog going. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay. All right. So for people wide happy food, we got that per adjacent. So one or two? It's two. <laughs> so four. Oh, it's because it's adjacent utility. Got yeah. Four. Uh, living. Uh, corridors, nope. You don't have any corridors? Outside, two. Oh, it's adjacent. Two. This is dungeon below, so two. This, those three living rooms, that's it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, utility. Um, this is per connected living room, so there's three. Very nice. This is per connected corridor, so that's actually three. Are we going to do great? Um, maybe. Uh, connected utility, uh, so two. Connected utility is two. Uh, connected sleeping room doesn't matter. Okay. Um, outdoor, one per sleeping room, neg negative. Ooh. One per utility, one, two, three, four, five. Nice. Okay. Um, sleeping, nothing. <laughs> Corridors. No corridors. This is per mirror. So, so one, two, two, three. This is per mirror. So one, two, one, three. Two, three. <laughs> this is per mirror. That's this per mirror. Though. One. Okay. Well, could have probably planned that better, but it's all right. Mm -hmm. um, downstairs, utility above it. So two. Sleeping above it. So two. Okay. Towers. Nothing. Um, fountains, I think one, one so yeah. five. <clears throat> Grand foyer, one worth four. Yep. Bonus card, so two per blocked off tile. So this is blocked off. Yep. One, that's blocked two, off. Three. That's blocked off. Yep. So it's six points. Royal attendant, torch, one, two, three, four, five, five. Five for the attendant, Pretty and the throne room is only two, so we didn't we didn't ever get around to <laughs> building on top of the throne room. We were too busy expanding two different ways. Uh, so two no, different ways. No big deal. So four, four, ten, five, seven, four. Two totals. One, five, four, four six, five, pencil, and two. Oh, you, okay. Oh, you had no pencil. 18, 23, 30, 4, 39, 43, 49, 54, 56. This one's also 56. That one was 56? Yeah. What? what? Oh, sorry, this, this one's 56. This one was 56? Oh, it looks like my score is 56! I think, it sounds like all our scores are 56. Probably, yeah. Everyone, <laughs> right? It's a tie! A uh, three-way tie? I don't know. Who has that one? Uh, being calculated. Uh, fucking massive. It's 66. 66. Okay. First tiebreaker. Winners compare the scores of their higher scoring castle. Player with the higher score wins. We still tie. Me and Logan, then. Right? Oh, I'm out. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So we, we are winners? Winners compare the total number of specialty rooms among their two castles. The player with the highest total wins. Specialty room. Uh, shields. So shields. Fountain and Grand Foyer. So there's two in this one. Two. And one? I got them. Wait. None? We have one. Yeah, the Grand so we have two. two. We have two. Still tied. Still tied. <laughs> <laughs> if there's still a tie, players share the victory. Yay! <laughs> After I taught you how to play the game. Awesome. Uh, All right, there you go. <laughs> Between the castles of Mad Kingdom. No. Buy followers. How about you buy yourself a channel you could talk in? <laughs> All right. People, wide people sad. That was good. <laughs>
Good yeah, news. That was, and wow, yeah. that it was I, that, that close. Yeah, uh, this game is great. Um, this this one is a I, I would I would describe this game as a banger. Yeah, um, it's it's a and the thing it's is double sided. The game would scale up, right? We yeah. could have four other people playing, and the game would still take the same amount of time. That's really awesome. Maybe slightly longer if you. It, maybe you're, you're you'd have scoring. To scoring. So the, the, the thing yeah. is, like, well, well so everyone just takes their sheet and scores oh, that's right. Right, yeah. all at the same time. Well, so, and the thing was, we were we were explaining everything as we went, and yeah. it was uh, clocked in under an hour. So pretty good. Yeah, pretty dang good. I'm I'm definitely interested to play this game uh, with more people next time. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. yeah, yeah. This is this is a great seven player game. So and that's uh, hard to find a seven player game that doesn't take a hundred thousand years. Yeah. Yes. Like you said, I think this is like I, I really liked Matt King Ludwig, like the original game, but I think this is uh, I think this ekes out. Yeah, I think you're right. Well, yeah, look at this easy teardown too. And like you said, it just sets up for that game. Yeah, you're you, we're you're essentially already set up, right? I mean, you probably want to shuffle it a little bit. Yeah, right. That's what I'm trying to do. <clears throat> Since we stacked all those basements on top of it. <laughs> yeah. Castle, 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 castle. I need attendance. Okay. Uh, tokens. Okay. And there you go. That's it. Matt, Matt King Goldwick. Between the two castles of. We've done it. Mad King Ludwig. Yeah, there is another Mad King Ludwig, at least one. There's six expansions to that, I believe. So, yeah, there's like the Flamingos expansion. I at least remember that one. Mm -hmm. I remember having a good time with it. Not bad for uh, literal last yeah, 10 actual minutes. Last, it, it, it's one of those, once you get through like yeah. one or two turns, the game just snaps into place. Yeah. You're like, you're building. You, you and your best friends are building castles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to share the win with <laughs> you know, one of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah. If only, man, if we had put the corridor, oh my God, that castle would have been so Yeah, it would have been. Yeah, yeah. Because we, we lost. Uh, of... And then I would have won. But, yeah. <laughs> it's true. Damn. I think if I, if I had to lose, I guess I'd. I guess I'd. Rather have it so that both my friends get to win. <laughs> You're a good guy, Nathan. <laughs> the the score sheets? Score sheet. Okay. Rule book. That's everything. Okay. Box top. Wow. That's Mad King Ludwig. Castles. Mad King Ludwig. Between two go. castles of Mad King Ludwig. So. Cool. Yeah. Hey. Boom. The real winner is definitely how fast cleanup was. Compare that to what would play a couple weeks ago that was just brutal. No, last week it was Lost Friends of Arnak. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Arnak's got a lot of moving pieces. Arnak. Yeah, it's a, a lot, lot of setup and a lot of teardown. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot, but it's, it's, a a lot. it's so good. It's worth it. But yeah, it's worth it. Well, thanks for watching tonight. Yeah, appreciate everybody. Uh, sorry for the switcheroo. Yeah. Wednesday is the the time you killed me. Yeah, that time you killed me. That time you killed me. What? That time you killed me. It's a time traveling game. You're trying to you're trying to invent the time machine before the opponent. You have to outmaneuver him in time. So it's Primer? <laughs> You're playing Primer? Uh, I think yeah. so. <laughs> so. We'll see. We haven't, I haven't learned the rules yet, but we're, uh, we're going to dive into it and probably play the campaign. It, 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 so uh, that's one of the, my biggest gripes about Fantasy Flight games is that they give you an awesome game and then they give you like one trough to like dump all the components into. Right. That's um, terrible. And, where, and, and I know it's 100% a cost-saving measure Yeah. Um, so that they can print the game cheaper. But uh, you play like a Stonemeyer game. You play uh, games from other companies where it's like, just well, like Rolling Zilder Rail. Yeah, you literally, you literally, you, like, literally you, bought the game before I knew anything about it because of how nice the trays were. You're like, you're like, <laughs> put it. You, it's great. You yeah, put the game, game away. <clears throat> when you pull out the game, it is ready to be played. Yeah, that's so, nice. Yeah, and with like with uh, dwellings, it's like here's your player board. Is literally everything you need in there. Love that. Yeah, you can. So you can even see like the future of the game. Like it makes it clear how to play. So, yeah, great. So, there you go. Uh, appreciate everybody stopping by. Hey, if you like me specifically, you should go listen to Very Random Encounters, a podcast I do with some friends where we play tabletop role-playing games to randomize as much as is possible. You can find that at vre.show. And I wrote a book. Right there. Hey, LA is always quick with the link. Uh, uh, I also wrote a book with my co-host of that podcast. It's called The Ultimate Random Encounters Book, and you can get that at bit.ly forward slash random book with a capital R and B. If you like the sweater, you can follow me on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> where the campus, where the campus is punishes small children. It's a pretty great sweater. Yeah. So good sweater game, good board game. 
Good, <laughs> good night. Good night, everyone. We'll see you Wednesday.